My frame is the Scarab Y6. Uh, it was made by a gentleman who made Lady Gaga fly. For that, I'm flying, uh, currently flying the Trooper frame by RC Timer. I'm calling it the Koopa Troopa. Uh, my frame is currently a Taro T1000 octocopter frame that I've cut down to a quadcopter. How did you do that? Uh, took four of the arms off. Um, comes with Fox Tech motor. It's mostly RC timer everything. Right now I'm working with some prototype T motor. Um, they're calling them the F1000. So um, I went and got Hobbywing ESCs that work really well. 7 kb 40 amp ESCs. It's currently 4S. I know a lot of other guys are going 6S now, so we're looking to upgrade that to the 6S. So I'm at 80 amp Emacs ESCs. And then um, I have a, a DJI Wukong, and the reason I got the Wukong designed for 1000 millimeter, um, has GPS as my redundancy, so if something does happen, I just turn on the GPS and then it hovers really well. Uh, flight controller right now is a BF3, mm -hmm. B-Rotor F3, again RC timer uh, flight controller. Yeah, it's F3, F3 running beta flight. Right now I'm using the AirBot Omnibus F3. Work with what's off the shelf, but make it yours. Having the right draw for your system is crucial. Because I think at this size, if you're asking too much or you're going to pull up or something and you full throttle and you're really asking a lot of it, then that's when you're going to stress it and that's when things are going to catch on fire. And at this size, that's not good. Don't go with underpowered motors. It's just a waste of time and money. Be realistic about a budget. Um, if you have a budget of $1,000, you can do some pretty good damage. No need to show off for everybody every time. I get in trouble sometimes <laughs> pushing it. <laughs>